Hey guys, it's Anjali and I'm back at it again with another video. For this video, I decided to talk about, it's an anime thing. If you don't anime, you won't get this video. But if you do anime, it's a really big thing that people are talking about, which I talk about with my friends like all the time. It is Saitama or One Punch Man versus Goku from Dragon Ball Z. So these are just my opinions. There's no facts. There's no facts that says which one is stronger and which one isn't. They're all just opinions. So I'm gonna give my opinion on a thing. Acknowledge the Opai shirt. Acknowledge it. Love it. Live it. Thank you. So in my opinion, I think that Saitama is stronger than Goku. I've had this, oh my god, I had this conversation, this argument this controversy thing uh, with my friends a whole bunch of time. He is a Goku fan, I am a One Punch Man fan, but he watches One Punch Man too, but he thinks that Goku is stronger than One Punch Man. The reason he thinks that is because, you know, um, Goku can go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, um, he destroys galaxies, he destroys planets, um, he can like teleport and things like that. And you know, telling me all these things about you know how he can um, how he dies and then goes into like a, a different world and train for a year, then comes back even stronger. And you know, I like because I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, so these are just my opinions. And it is kind of like a a biased thing, you know. If I watch were to watch Goku and then were to watch One Punch Man, then I would actually be able to do it. But in my opinion, I think Sino is stronger. Here's the reason why. He is, he can, he can destroy anybody in one punch. Is there any more reason that I need to tell you why he's the strongest? He can destroy anybody in one punch, you know? And and even in the last episode, or like near the last episode, I can't remember, um, he fought like a, a Goku kind of knockoff thing and he defeated him. It's trying to like give us like hints, like if he were to fight Goku, he'd win. And I just think that, you know, we haven't even seen like his limits like this is only the first season and he's never taken a fight serious so he always like you know just like kind of he doesn't take anything serious like every fight even though he's won them he doesn't take them seriously so if he were to fight Goku and were to be serious about it we don't know what his power he, he's literally the most OP superhero ever we don't know his limits this is only the first season and he's never taken a fight seriously so if he were to be serious about it what what, what what like what kind of like power would we be able to see like what like what limit would it would it, like would it stop at you know because in his universe he's the strongest person he's defeated people the size of titans he defeated the people who are like like strong who are super duper strong people who come from different planets to fight him and he's defeated them you know and it's just kind of saying like no matter what planet you're from what kind of universe you're from if you come to earth and fight Saitama you will lose so I just think that he's the strongest because he's he's can he can defeat anybody in one punch you know he's never taken a fight seriously and if he were to take it seriously like what what kind of power would we see like we probably see like you know because um probably a god-like power really because you know Goku can go Super Saiyan God who knows like, like he could probably have like powers of God the person tries to hit him in the face with a sword he bites the sword he bites the sword and breaks it I'm just like mm -hmm. this is real this is actually happening you know there's like there's just like he's just like the strongest person I don't understand he's literally the most OP and in my opinion and the data I have collected by watching One Punch Man and not watching Goku. And but knowing most things about Goku because my friend, when we have these discussion, he tells me all this thing about him destroying universes and um, almost destroying the world by like spinning over a chair or something like that, I forget what he said. But um, I'm just like, it doesn't matter. You know, he literally defeats anybody in One Punch. And since this is the only first season, we've never seen like as much as his like powers can go but he's still the strongest and people come from different universes just to fight him and still lose and then that reference to Goku and them to fight and, and then and then the knockoff Goku still losing I have to say that I think that Saitama is the strongest anime character but it's not like he wants to be if you watch the anime you know he's trying to find somebody who is stronger than him so if he if he if Goku is stronger than him I don't think so never seen any facts that says so 
maybe they're actually the same level. I don't know, but like, in my opinion, Saitama will always be the strongest because he can defeat anybody in one punch. Yeah. That's all for this video. I, uh, I was just talking about this with so many friends and my brother and, you know, just trying to see which one is stronger. Why we have these conversations, I don't know. I don't know what we do, but we do. And it's such a big topic for like me and my friends to talk about because, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, we just like talk about anime and this is what we talk about when we talk about anime. Just like, which one's the strongest? And so I, this is what I think. I think that he's the strongest. We don't know his limits. He's never taken a fight seriously. Um, one of the strongest heroes, probably the most strongest hero, OP, he is OP. That's all for this video. This video a like if you think that Saitama is the strongest. Or you should give this video a like if you think that Goku is the strongest. It doesn't matter which one you think is the strongest. It does, because it's Saitama. But this is all my opinions. Only opinions, people, only opinions. And I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I guys stay groovy like an indoor movie.